So it's really hard to choose my favorite moment. And with that, I think anybody who can should come to Fiji. It's the second year I've had the privilege of uh, being here. Working with our Fijian partners, the uh, villages of Usaratu and Atewa. Now the work that we're doing uh, with them is particularly important from several different perspectives. First, from a science point of view, the Natewa Peninsula and Natewa Bay are globally significant from uh, an endemic wildlife uh, perspective. And with that in mind, we and the Fijians are working together uh, around the concept of a protected area such as a national park or a marine reserve. And to do that, it's important for us to gather high quality scientific data. Now the kind of experience that you should expect once you land in Fiji and in Lambasa uh, in particular is you'll be met by one of our staff and uh, the first thing you'll do is uh, transition by bus out to uh, either the village of uh, Vusaratu or Natewa where you're going to spend a couple of nights in the village really getting a bit acclimatized to the both the traditional Fijian uh, relationship with the with the land and the forest and the sea as well as their contemporary relationship with it and how they use these resources for food and for shelter and for clothing and for medicine and so you'll have a very interesting and engaging intercultural experience and frankly it's often one of the students and the teachers highlights of their trip. After a couple of days in the village you'll then hike up to our forest camp which is um, give or take about a thousand feet above sea level and it's there where you'll spend the next four nights working with us on research which actually extends across the Natewa Peninsula. I'm overseeing the science program um, here in, on the Natewa Peninsula. The surveys we are running this year include um, bird surveys, we're also running butterfly surveys, um, in particular trying to assess the distribution of the Natewa swallowtail butterfly which was discovered um, by Opwal teams last year and it was a completely new species to science, so that's really exciting. Um, and we're also running some general kind of invertebrate surveys as well as this, we're carrying out um, some habitat surveys um, to look at forest structure um, and to determine why certain species occur where they do, um, as well as collecting data to estimate how much carbon um, is stored in the forests here across the Natewa Peninsula. I'm the lead ornithologist out in Fiji working on the Natewa Peninsula, um, doing point counts and mist netting with the students. On the mist netting, um, we remove the birds. I show the students how to correctly extract and process the birds, measuring and weighing, looking at age and sex and molt, um, and then the students get a chance to release the birds. Um, the birds here are extremely important, and there's a lot of local endemic birds. Um, the Natewa silktail um, is only found on this peninsula, and an incredibly important bird um, that need, needs protection. Um, it's currently an important bird area, but all the data we're collecting is hopefully going to, towards a national park proposal to help legally and formally protect um, the forest here. And when you wrap up with us at the forest camp, you'll uh, make the transition then down to the uh, marine camp where you uh, see me uh, today on uh, Natewa Bay and it's there where you know I can assure you as a diver myself you're going to have one of the most memorable experiences of your life. I am the site manager for the marine camp here in Fiji. We're on the beautiful Natewa Bay. It's the largest bay in the South Pacific. Uh, at some point it's over a thousand meters deep. Natewa Bay is about 10 times the size of Manhattan. It has a resident pod of spinner dolphins and very healthy hard corals. We're here studying basically the, the benthic composition, what we find on the bottom, um, and pairing that with fish surveys to get an overall picture of the health of the reef. Uh, and there's a lot to be known about what species are found here and how we can best protect them. Whilst here, 
students complete a paddy open water course. They can also take um, the paddy coral reef ecology speciality while they're here. So whilst here, the students are doing um, in-water practicals by scuba diving or by snorkeling. Um, our snorkelers are helping with the Allen Coral Atlas, uh, which is using satellite images from space to uh, map coral reefs on a global scale. And our divers are doing stereo video surveys along with benthic um, point intercept transects and 3D modeling of the coral reefs. Uh, I brought 10 students from Los Angeles, California from New Roads uh, High School and um, it's been pretty fantastic. Um, we went up in the forest and watched uh, scientists do their work and then we actually assisted scientists in doing their work. For me to be able to watch kids do that and be part of that um, I think will make me a better teacher because it gives me the opportunity to um, have some fresh eyes and and uh, I needed that. I go back, um, I would say rejuvenated, um, and that's not easy for a guy my age, but I really feel rejuvenated as far as going into the classroom and talking about um, science and how it's done. So during the weeks, for both of the weeks, we have lectures, and those talk about the animals in both the forest camp and the marine camp and that helps me understand what I'm seeing and enjoy the experience like the surveys that we do. My favorite thing to see in the water is the lionfish because the lionfish are actually native here in Fiji so it's really cool to see them. I really enjoyed being able to learn in the field so when we were actually doing surveys and looking for insects and trying to ID birds. Uh, I found that a very helpful way just to be involved and I really enjoyed that form of learning. So in the end, all I can say is that each and every part of the trip, each and every day, had some wonderful aspect to it. So it's really hard to choose my favorite moment and with that, I think anybody who can should come to Fiji or any of the Operation Wallacea expeditions because it's an absolutely amazing experience.